But what I knew I was expecting, it was, it was, a, it was a surprise. I was, it was just a mixture of feelings. My most challenging was uh, seeing my son being raised on the streets. Or just one place where they can feel safe in a stable environment where they can sleep at night, where they don't have to worry about like, hey, I can't get a job because I'm not getting enough sleep because it's raining and it's cold outside and my family doesn't care or I don't have any family anymore or nobody, I need a community and a place to be. When one door is closed, many more is open. Gonna be open just like a book, so won't you take a look? Thanks to the momentous passage of Measure H and Prop HHH, all across the county, services and supports for people experiencing homelessness, including youth, are expanding. But the truth is that it is going to take every type of intervention, both systemic and grassroots, to put any kind of dent in our city's homelessness crisis. That's why we're thrilled to be partnering with PodShare. We redesigned the American bunk bed by literally hand building these pods. Instead of a ladder, we built stairways. There's a nightlight, personal outlets, and a TV in each one. We have hosted over 20,000 people from across the world in 185 pods since 2012. Our case managers do amazing, tireless work to connect our members with long-term housing. And last year, they helped 170 members exit the streets. But ultimately, when we close our doors at the end of the day, the vast majority of our members go back out into homelessness to face violence, victimization, criminalization, and countless health risks. There are 60,000 homeless people on the streets in Los Angeles every night, and 10% are homeless youth. But there is no shelters in West LA for transitional age youth. So this project would support the building of the first one. The answer to our massive housing crisis is building more housing, but doing it in a creative way. Underutilized spaces, like warehouses, can be used for these pods. And every 50 square feet, we can sleep two to four people, depending on if it's a twin bed or a queen size bed. No one else builds like this. If you're getting a bunk bed at Ikea, it's meant for children. If you're getting a room, it won't occupy as many people. Our model is the best solution to get people off the streets in a matter of months instead of years. Sleeping with a group of people was a lot better for me than sleeping solo because when I was solo, I would have to wake up in the middle of the night, just like look around, see if my stuff was there, and then with a whole bunch of people, it felt better. Last year, we helped over 1,100 young people through our street outreach and drop-in center services. And this is our drop-in center that comes alive with an average of 75 members each day, accessing basic necessities such as food, shower, and clothing, utilizing our employment program to search for jobs and practice for interviews, addressing physical and mental health needs in our wellness clinic, using the on-site charter school to advance our educational goals, and finding trust and expression in our healing arts programming. Please don't cry no more. You know this is the cure. I love and adore. It takes a village to raise a child. It's going to take Los Angeles to raise, raise a bunch of like homeless kids. Help support Safe Place for Youth by PodShare. Share this video, donate, and help engage other Angelinos.